hello guys in this video i am going to introduce you to a very interesting model the model's name is llm for decompile at a very high level in simple words the purpose of this model is to decompile the binary or assembly code into c language llm for decompile is an open source llm dedicated to decompilation its current version supports decompiling Linux at x86-64 binaries ranging from GCC compiler 00 to 03 optimization level into human readable C source code. And this tool is going to evolve a lot and you will see lot more languages and binaries supported by this LLM and I think this is one of the groundbreaking in this field. One of the immediate use cases which I can see is that there is a lot of legacy C, C++ code which is lying around in various mainframes, in banks and insurance companies and lot of other big corporations and there is no support available. They are just maintaining it for the sake of it because no one wants to touch it. That is where this LLM can become very handy where it can not only um, decompile that C code into the source code so that it could be you know, uplifted or it could just rewrite it after decompiling with the help of another uh, model like star coder or any other. So the use cases are unlimited here. Now if you look at this diagram this explains it in more clear way. So at the very top there is a C source code you normally compile it into binary and then it is converted into assembly language. From there this LLM decompiles it again into C source code. So if you have assembly language uh, code lying around or if, even if you have binary code lying around you can easily convert into assembly and then from using this model we can convert into the source code and from there as I said you can uplift it you can rewrite it with another LLM. Okay. Um, Another thing that this is backed by this thorough research and I will drop the link to it in video's description. I think this is going to be a real game changer in this field especially when it comes to supporting the legacy code. Okay, If you go back to this hugging face model card they have a lot of other benchmarking information available and you can see it at your leisure. The compatibility is quite high. I think that uh, because I don't see any other similar model to this so it's hard to compare but I think a real groundbreaking step in the right direction. Now let's get installed. They also have a github repo which we need to clone so let's go to our local system and then try installing this model. As you can see here I am using my Ubuntu and I have one GPU card so you would need a GPU card in order to use it so make sure that you have it. My GPU card has 16 GB of VRAM and I have a memory of 32 GB. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to git clone this repo. So let me clear the screen and then I will clone the repo. So git clone in the uh, repo's URL. And once you press enter, you can see that it has cloned it. Let's cd to that directory, which is LLM. And then let me clear my screen. And if I show you the contents, these are the contents. Let's um, install the requirements. Let me also show you the requirements. So these are all the requirements like TQ, DM for progress, transformers library. Also, you need to put another equal to sign here. And logaru and few other things i don't know why they have repeated tqdm two times anyway so let's save it let's install it okay, i just missed the s here there you go it is installing all the prerequisites i think i already have all of them installed so that is good let's clear the screen now as I said, first we need to compile a C code into assembly language and that is what we are going to use our sample so that we could decompile it back into C language. 
they already have provided some samples so let me show you so if i do ls there is a samples directory if you do samples again there is this sample.c so it's a simple c code as you can see we are just importing some of the libraries and then there is a truncate number function so what we are going to do but we are going to use a script to convert it into assembly language and then we will use our llm to decompile that assembly back into this c okay so let's go back to our llm for decompile now i already have created a function which is a preprocess.py which is also available in their repo and i will drop the link in this description so let me first show you that code so this is a code which is uh, a python code that is converting that c code to assembly code now if you go through it quickly it is importing some of the libraries it is setting the regular expression for hexadecimal which that is what is used and then some of the options for the gcc this is the file name i just which i just showed you the sample file we are opening it reading it in this variable and then we are going through state by state and saving it in the uh, assembly language files i will show you too and then it is creating a new file based on assembly language it's a simple c code so let's run it and let me clear the screen all you need to do is to just uh, python 3 preprocess.py let us run let's go to our repo again in the samples and you will see a lot of new files here all the sample files have been creating with assembly language for the sake of this demo i'm just going to pick this assembly file and with the help of llm we are going to convert this assembly file into back into the sql okay so let's uh, clear the screen fire up our python interpreter and now we are going to first download the model the model which i showed you in the hugging face the llm for decompile and then we will use it so let's first import some of the libraries these are the usual uh, suspects like auto tokenizer and uh, llm auto model for causal llm let's also import the torch library which is a pytorch let's specify our llm for decompile model 1.3 billion they also have some bigger models by the way in the different sizes let's specify our tokenizer And then let's download the model with floating point 16 on the CUDA because I have a GPU. The size is just under 3 gig for this, so let's wait for it to come back. Wait too long. That's done. Let's specify the file, the assembly file which I just showed you in the samples directory. And that is what we are going to decompile and you just have to press tab because python requires an indentation here that is also done it has read the file now let's pass the inputs to the model let's ask the model to generate the output and i'm just keeping it at 500 tokens as you can see here you can ignore this warning for now and now let's decode that model's output with the help of tokenizer that's done and now let's print out this output which is a c a decompiled form of c function there you go so we have our truncate number function back you can see that how easy it is to decompile the assembly language uh, back into the c language now there are a lot of other things in this one they also produce a json file you can even run this evaluation on multiple gpus and you can do a lot of other things and in the future they also <clears throat> are going to support for executable binaries they are going to also integrate with the decompilation tools like Gitra and Ryzen and there are a lot of other tools which they are intent to support.
so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts and uh, before i go let me also show you the github repo so this is the github repo i was talking about they have some results models and a lot of stuff here so read through it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching